I guess it's something I appreciate as well now is that even when you didn't care, your teachers still cared. So they weren't teaching just because of money, they were teaching because of passion. It wasn't just about the work and neither was it just about being friendly and loving, but they perfectly brought those two things together and I think that's such an amazing skill to have. I remember in, our, in the olden age, while I grew up in a village, we used to appreciate teachers. When we see a teacher say, ah, there's Mrs. So-and-so coming. We used to call them by, by their, their surnames, they're not four names. I appreciated that they put up with me and they took the time to, to teach me. Um, I had a history teacher that spent many hours with me after school hours. And so, yeah, I just appreciate the extra input they had in my life. They dedicate their lives to making sure that our children move to become great adults. The challenges they face today are much, much worse than when our children were small. I think the most difficult part of being a teacher is dealing with almost the emotional stress that comes with being a teacher because not only are you just teaching content to children but often children whose home lives are difficult, you become like a mother or a father to those children. We heard it uh, very much when we were in New Zealand where the kids, the, t the lady who taught in South Africa said the kids there are hooligans. <laughs> it must be really discouraging just going day in and day out um, and seeing you know, no difference or no appreciation, uh, which I guess adds to, to how incredible it actually is that they, they, they're doing these jobs. And I think we as parents often fail in that we expect the teacher to teach our kids everything and we don't teach them anything. Definitely teachers that are not appreciated by parents. So teacher has got to come in and explain those dynamics. So by by police, by 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 introverts, by extroverts. So teacher has got to come in and try to level the playing ground. I taught at Sterling High School for two years, so when I think about the question of what's the hardest part about being a teacher, definitely to keep your students encouraged and motivated. Um, it's a challenge. I just looked up to her so much with regard to her walk with Jesus. Her joy and bubbliness for Christ just inspired me. Christ has put her in that position to minister to children and to bring Jesus into her classroom was just such a revelation for me, especially as I consider perhaps becoming a teacher. That um, one of the, the biggest impacts on my faith life that one of my teachers had was my high school math teacher um, who taught me that, that part of worship is, is still putting 100% effort into everything that you do. never to underestimate the, the power that your words have over your students. Um, your words have the power to encourage, to inspire, to motivate your students. Know that we are all praying for the teachers, even though we don't have kids at school anymore, but we've got uh, lots of grandchildren at school, which we pray for, and, uh, and including the teachers. My message to the teachers is keep the faith. You guys are amazing. We appreciate you. We think you have a gift and calling on your life. Thank you. I guess, I guess the one thing I'd say to teachers is that um, every, everything you do, whether the student shows it or not, definitely makes an impact and a lasting one. God will undertake for you. God will be with you and God will bring you through.